guys, welcome back to All About the Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you're someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna be talking about those who wish me dead. Those Who Wish Me Dead is this month's HBO Max's theatrical release kind of duel. So you are able to find this currently for the next 30 days on HBO Max or you can catch it in theaters if it is available and of course if you feel comfortable going. So as you can tell I am at my house today so I personally did not choose to do the theatrical experience for this particular movie uh, and we'll get to that here in just a bit. So this is review number two for this jam-packed movie weekend. Um, I do currently have Oxygen up on my channel and tomorrow on Saturday we're going to be watching Army of the Dead. I did want to do like a double feature and also see Spiral but my sister has to go to work so I think we're going to see that one Sunday morning. Uh, so I know a lot of you do like it when my sisters are part of the videos and you know like the after theatrical experience so look out for those uh videos later on in the week but today we are talking about those who wish me dead who does star Angela Jolie who plays Hannah and we also have Finn Little who plays Connor and we also have the very good looking Nicholas Holt and Aiden Gillian and they're playing like these assassins we also have John Berthal yeah, not how I am with names. And then he is basically partnered up with his wife, who's played by Medina Singhor. I don't know, you guys. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing these names wrong. You know, what's new here? If you're new, I mis uh, mispronounce people's names all the time. Yeah, I hear this badass car passing by. This movie, you guys, honestly doesn't have the best structure. It does have a great ensemble, fantastic ensemble. But the structure overall, the plot, the uh, I don't I don't know you guys like I don't know you guys how I, I I don't know a lot of things just weren't really properly explained and they never officially gave us a specific reason why they're really murdering all these people two assassins I wasn't really totally here for them at parts I'm like are you trying to be funny are you trying to be serious because I'm not fully like there for you with your menacing acts like I mean yes they do a lot of menacing acts, they do murder a lot of people, and they're like really, really ruthless. But I wasn't fully here for them. And then the only person that we really truly get a backstory on this like also like that is Angelina Jolene's character, Hannah. We get flashes of why she's like this tormented soul. From the trailers, I kind of already got that it wasn't gonna be like this great movie. I wasn't going in there with like these high expectations. And I was like, you know what? We're gonna watch this one at home. This is not one that needs to be seen in theaters. And I still stand by that. I think I did a great decision not going to the theater to see this. As soon as Hannah told him, go into the water, and, they, and I'm like, what about this letter? And what about this letter? That letter, I know it's true because they were in that damn like pond, lake, whatever the hell it is, for a long time. So, what what are you gonna show the, the, the media? Like, I don't understand, what are you gonna show the media? I don't know, you guys, I really wasn't totally here for it. I wasn't jiggy with it. Jiggy, for some reason, you guys, seems to be my word for now. I don't know, don't judge me, it is what it is. We're gonna get jiggy with it. I guess you could say that the movie also gives you somewhat of a like 90s early 2000s feel to it we do have some pretty cool like fire scenes and the scenery is really nice because again we are like out in like in the wilderness kind of of place location so it's nice to look at and the acting was really good and again the ensemble it's a really nice ensemble i'm really trying to give some positives to it because i really don't I, I don't really like being mean to a movie you guys unless it's like absolutely terrible and this movie is far from being terrible at all but before i give you my score don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. This is the perfect time for you to subscribe. It is my birthday month. I am trying to hit 400 subscribers uh, by the end of the month. That would be an awesome, awesome birthday present, you guys. So hit that subscribe button. So with all that said, um, those who wish me dead, I forgot the name of that movie, you guys. Those who wish me dead, if you do want to watch it, I recommend to just watch it at home. I don't think it's worth the, um, your coin to have that theatrical experience that 30 days to watch it on hbo max otherwise you'll have to watch it in theater or just wait until like i guess it's just streams i don't even know what i want to give it you guys 
I'm giving it a small popcorn. Think of me with the small popcorns this weekend. Oh, I hope that's not a sign of what's to come with the next movies. Um, but it's kind of like the last one. It's like a small popcorn, pretty close to a medium, but it's just not something that I really would recommend it's not something that i really see myself re-watching if you have seen those who wish me dead let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you, love it? Did you hate it was it just not for you um okay you guys i'm just gonna leave it like that until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye <laughs>